Uh, gosh. Uh, I, I can't explain it. Uh, just uh, felt like the juice at the start of the game. It just we didn't have juice. Uh, felt like the batteries were, were emptied uh, mentally, physically. Um, yeah. Uh, able to stay and, and survive. Could have been down 10 at half. It was down one. We got the late foul. Started the second half, same thing. We started the game with we, one of our things was limit turnovers. We started the first five minutes with four turnovers in the first half. The first five minutes of the second half were four turnovers right away. You know, I just, I, I don't know. Uh, that's on me. I got to do a better job of, you know, juicing them. Uh, you know, try to find some energy uh, off the bench. Had to go small, and uh, that put us. You know, they got a couple offensive rebounds late, putbacks. But the bottom line, we couldn't guard Isaiah Collier and Boogie Ellis. And those were, that was the big key to the game. Not just that they're going to score points, but it was too easy for them. So tip our hats to USC. You know, it seemed as if you had an advantage inside with your big guy. Just, was it just <coughs> not able to get going with uh, You know what? I You know, uh, when you're out there coaching, you're trying to. Uh, sometimes you got to push some buttons to try to, you know, see if it's there and stuff like that. There was a couple lobs. We had lobs early that that we didn't catch that we normally catch. Um, in the start of the second half, uh, the first half, you know, I don't know. It just it was one of those. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know how to say it. Uh, just I, I, I unexplainable. Uh, yeah. 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 You know what we? You know Braxton uh, as. You know we start off the game zone and uh, Collier, who hasn't been shooting the ball great, starts off hits two threes, that kind of set the tone. But uh, you know we got we were able to get it to Braxton a couple times inside, like off dump offs. He had the one reverse. The other ones he just kind of bobbled. Uh, and then uh, we just felt we put Will home in the game. We knew that per, that player was going to get a wide open shot, and we just felt like if we went small, we could put Anthony Holland. I thought that's the one that we went on that 6-0 run that cut it to one with the small lineup. Um, you know, you know we were we were getting down, and then the second half, uh, you know, we went to Braxton uh, one press so we cut it to a two possession game then we came back we played zone and he was he just completely moved over I don't know if he thought he was a man and the, they threw it down and they made a layup so we didn't really have and just uh, his alertness today he just he just wasn't at his best to what he normally has been especially late uh, Wilhelm um, just decided to go uh, with Ant Hall and we were going to fire in the post and they don't really go to the post a lot so that was a decision that we made based on, uh, you know, how they were they were playing offense, um, but uh, it obviously didn't work. Is this just yeah. kind of a microcosm of this this, this basketball team? You, you had some really big wins. Yeah. But you just haven't had any kind of consistency at all. It's a great it's a great way to put it. We were in a staff meeting after the game, and it's just you know, you know, the consistency of of, of what you're going to get. You can, you can miss shots. That's you can't count on that. But your attention to detail, uh, you know, I felt like we were shooting ourselves in our foot. Uh, there, were, you know, we were supposed to switch up. Uh, we switched low uh, with Boogie Ellis. He makes the three. We were, you know, we were just for some reason that inconsistency, lack of focus uh, in the in the middle of the game against certain players. You know, I, you, you you can't explain it. We might have to. We didn't. I mean, I felt like we prepared them well, uh, but that inconsistency, I think, has been, you know, especially on the defensive end. I hate to call you on it, but you warned us about this on Thursday. You said you've seen senior day teams come out. Yeah, this. yeah. You, I, I, you know, what? it's, it's. Uh, I, I've been a part of them. Uh, I, I felt like, uh, again, just in the state of college basketball, you don't, you know, because you have a lot of players that have already graduated in one year and they've been here. Um, but a lot of these guys, you know, you have family. You just never know how you're going to respond. Um, I felt really good going into the game, especially 
uh, yesterday. I felt good. You know, there are two really good practices before UCLA. I felt like we fought at the end to kind of pull, give ourselves a chance. But uh, at the end of the day, some of the plays that we were making today just weren't us. And, uh, you know, but the consistency, I think more so on the defensive end is what, what really hurt us. And I think what Kim said about not having that big presence in there, you know, it felt like we played a game without a seven foot center who in the last game played lights out. Um, you, you guys are down three with a minute left. Just what happened on that play there? The, we, we down three, a minute left. It's kind of right there. And I think um, Isaiah just kind of made something happen. Yeah, what they did was is we were we were switching. We and the, the idea of switching is is keeping the team in front, and we know Collier is a great driver, not a good driver. He's he's got strength, he's got athleticism, but we believe that if you switch, there's really no you know you're creating these walls. And what they did is they uh, they uh, dove uh, the big guy, and Saw got on top of him. They ducked him in, and he drove and, and went behind the duck and almost like an offensive lineman making a, uh, a cut, but, you know, sometimes you can, you can have the scouting report and how you want to play them, and then you got to be able to go out and execute, and we obviously didn't execute on that play. And then with him, um, just any thoughts on sending more doubles at him? I mean, we, 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 we were, th you know, because we were small, we felt like, you know, we could, you know, doubled the ball screen. Uh, you know, that was something that we had talked about. Uh, we talked about some zone trapping. You know, they did a good job of keeping space, and then they got their switch, and then they attacked, and we had nothing for it. It's tough to hold Keon Brooks down, but he had 15 in the first half, and they kind of held him down in yeah. the second half. What were they doing differently? They switched, and uh, so what happened is that we had to, you know, we were trying to get ball movement. We got some good threes, but, you know, when Morgan – uh, you know, they just switched. A lot of times when five men guard them, they help on that drive and you get them wide open for a three. We did it against uh, Cal and a few other teams were able to score against them. Um, but uh, Morgan, you know, it's one of the reasons why he's going to be, uh, you know, one of the finalists for the defensive player of the year. Not only is he shot blocked, but he was able to play on the perimeter uh, with a high hand that, you know, I think they blocked two of our jump shots, especially late. Um, so. You know that was that was a problem for us for sure. The switching. Did you think it was more the offense or the defense today? Like it, it felt like you scored. You know, I, 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 we made 13 threes. I just felt like it was a combination. I felt like a, more of the three pointers at the end. We were trying to give. You know, you're playing desperation. Uh, but I, I feel like a couple in this game. I felt like they were in the double bonus with 12 minutes to go on the defensive end. I felt like that kind of. You know, when when you get teams in foul trouble or they're in the bonus, it can weaken you a little bit in terms of being the aggressor. I don't know if that's the case, but I thought that was a big part of the game. And I think it was a combination tonight. I felt like even when we got back in, you know, they went on these couple runs where we couldn't stop them. They ran a, a flex cut, got a layup. We went to zone. They got a layup uh, when we went out. They ran ball screen. They got the mismatch, and they attacked, and, and Collier delivered. Um, they missed and they got an offensive rebound uh, when you're small. Um, and what happens when you're small, it has to be an advantage for you offensively. And I, I felt like it was good, but it wasn't great. Thank you, Coach. Good. Thank you, guys.